Hey, comic book community, Long Box Love Affair here. I have another CGC unboxing. This is actually part two. I had two big boxes and one small, and I unboxed in my first video, and if you haven't seen that, check it out, and come back to this video. It, it, th those were like some, some Copper Age and modern books, some variant covers, and a couple of uh, custom labels on some comic books of mine. So uh, some of them are gonna be for sale, some of them uh, are personal collection. So this one is mostly something is killing the children. I've, I've deduced that from what the last haul was because I didn't remember what was in what. So this must be all most completely something is killing the children, which is if you're under a rock and you don't know, it's like one of the hottest series right now from Boom Studios. I have been on board since issue number one. I, I front loaded and picked up a lot of issue number one and some other ones as it as it gone along and I've really enjoyed the story. I didn't realize it'd be such a hit, but last summer I spent a lot of time picking up second, third, fourth, and fifth printings of those books as I could. I thought the prices were high then. They are higher now. So I should have actually bought more and more, but I'm happy with, with, with what I've amassed. So I've invested wisely. Let's see if the grades reflect that. So without further ado, I have opened this box already and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know the grades. I don't look at them ahead of time. So it, it, the suspense kills me. Uh, so let me just flip this around so I don't see them before you see them and we can look at this together today. So before I show this first book, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. If you like what I what you see today, hit that thumbs up. And of course you can leave a comment down below. So stay tuned to all of my videos. Uh, and, and if you want to do that, hit that bell notification that is right around the subscribe button because then you get notice, notices every time I post a video, which is not a whole lot, maybe once or twice a week at the most. So here we go with the first book of the haul. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea the grade. So it's something that's killing the children. Go figure. And this is a third print of issue one. And most of these I picked up off of eBay. Thought it was high grade. These were books I did not feel the need to press. And some of these books have a higher um, or a harder cover. So it is harder to press and you might not even want to press it. So let's see, did I do well with picking these books? Nine six. I'll take a nine six. I, you know, my last haul, I got a lot of nine sixes. I got some nine eights and I got some lower grades for the, some of the older books, but a nine six. So the, the back of the book is really nice too, because they have the, the, the signature of the, the, is it the house of St. George, the house of slaughter. And, and, and the, this book is, looks really nice in, in a, in a slab. It's the first appearance of Erica slaughter, the first issue. So nine six, pretty darn close to perfect. Near Mint Plus, happy with that. All right, next up, another printing. This is the third print of the second issue. I love this ish this cover. This looks a little pastel-y, a little, um, little collage type of, of artwork, but it's just really kind of a cool cover. What did I get? 9-8, yes, yes. Let's hope that there's many more of those to come. Really cool cover. If you haven't seen this cover, it's definitely one to watch out for. And as the other ones, you get this red back backdrop of the logo of the house. Next up, another printing. This is the fourth print of the first issue. What did I get? Yeah, nine eight. All right, one nine six and two nine eights. We're off to a good, good start. This cover is pretty cool. We got Erica Slaughter in the mouth of a monster. And that is the fourth printing. So we have the third and fourth printing in this haul so far. Many more to come. And many more that I haven't sent to CGC. I've had some pressed and I have some that I just haven't gotten my act together to send. Oh, okay. This is a Black Cape com Comics exclusive that they sent me back the certificate. This is the book. This is issue two, it's the Schmalky variant. Oh gosh, what did I get? Nine eight, very nice. This is not issue one Black Cape Comics, which is huge dollars, but issue two, I'll take it. It's a virgin cover, Black Cape Comics edition. Boom is notorious for having stores do 
multiple different exclusive covers. They've now gotten out of hand the most recent set of issues that Something That's Killing Your Children has produced on the market has had many, 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 and can't keep up. So I've, I've given up on trying to keep up. And now I've just been, I have finished my collecting of the single digit issues. I don't have them all, but I'm just refocusing. And these are the ones that I invested in. And I'm glad to see that a 9-8 came back. So there we go. And as with the others, we got the red background. It does say the printing or the, or the artist or the variant type in there. So that's how you know. What's next? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but I think it's more something that's killing the children. Love this cover. This is issue six, right? It's the unlocked retailer variant, technically the second edition. Virgin cover. We've got a Jenny Frizen cover. How did we do? 9-8. Doing good here. 9-8, Frizen, goodness. I have two copies of this. I don't know if both of them are in this box. I might have not sent one yet. So we'll see together. I've, I've forgotten. So this is issue six. This is, so issue six is around when things started getting serious. When people started taking notice, this is my opinion. I think that's what happened. And um, the rest is history. People started ordering. But issues one through six are probably the lowest ordered of the whole run so far. That's just my opinion at this point, And I think people took notice. All right. This is the Comics and Oddities variant, the bloody version to the New York City Comic-Con variant, which was pure black and white. So you see the blood on this. This is only through Sanctorum, Sanct Sanct Sanctum Sanctorum Comics. <sighs> Can't say that. That's Say it 10 times fast. Comics and Oddities. So it's the Frizen issue number one variant through that store. And you, you heard me say about the store variants. There weren't many in the beginning. And then there's now an explosion. So this is one of the few in the beginning. So this is issue number one. Let's see. Nine, six. Ooh, so close. I have the foil version from this store. That is a nine, eight. So I was hopeful that this could pair with that. But nine, six. Look at that frizzing cover. Black, black and white or grayscale, however you want to call it. Uh, retailer exclusive. Next. Oh, this is the foil, local comic shop day. I got this graded just for the heck of it to see what would happen. I have a couple other copies of this that I could send in. I thought this was really nice. These are hard, you can't, I don't think you can press these with the foil. Um, so this was produced not too long ago. Let's see what came in. I, I, I think it's a 9.8, but it could be a 9.6. 9.8, perfect. And these, these do hold a little value. So was excited to find this. And I picked up two off of the comic shop shelf uh, right after it reopened in the post-pandemic world. So there's a couple more in my arsenal. So this is issue one, but it's the foil variant. When are we going to get to my first prints of issue number one? I know they're in here somewhere. Oh, speak of the devil. I, I did not telegraph that. I did not see in advance. So... I bought a, one of these, and I'm not grading the, this, the, the one I'm going to talk about. I bought one off of eBay back as it was like around the $50 book. And it came, and the seller botched the packaging, and it was bent up. So I actually got it for free. They just refunded my money. And then was so bummed that I didn't have a, a, a copy of the main cover, because I bought the Frizzing cover originally when I first started collecting. And I wanted the main cover, because I think sometimes main covers do better. And then I bought a bunch off of Midtown, and Midtown had them for like 20 or 30 bucks, I think, at the time. And then they went up to 50, and I just bought a bunch. So a bunch meaning two to four, I think. I can't remember how many. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, there are people who are worse off than me in terms of, of, of pulling things and holding on to them, and I, I'm not faulting you. That's just what we do. So something that's killing the children, number one. What did I get? Nine, eight. Yes, this, this book pays for the haul. This book more than pays for everything I got graded. This is like over a thousand dollar book. Nine, eight, nine, eight. Something's killing children. Number one, Deletra variant, not variant. First, you know, first print, first cover, cover A. We got Erica Slaughter there. We got the monsters, iconic cover. And I love the big letters on this, on these covers. You know, they, they don't let you guess what the book is. They just tell you it's something that's killing the children. And what is killing the children? I don't know. Monsters. Same book. Am I as lucky? 
Oh, ho, ho, so close. 9.6. Still valuable. Not as valuable as the 9.8, but still close. This is um, a harder cover, and I see. Oh, yeah. There's a, a color breaking crease on the back. Um, still, you know, 9.6 can't fix that crease. You know, that's, that is what it is. So you just got to go with it. I think those are the only two first prints in this book, in this haul, but I can't remember. No. <laughs> All right. Can we redeem? Oh, no, we can't. Ay, ay, ay. We went downhill quickly. Nine, eight, nine, six, nine, four. Has some scuffing on the back now that I remember. Oh, bummer. Hey, at least I got a 9.8. Super excited about that. So, and for a book I paid $50 for, I think I've made up my investment. So you can't, can't be pissed. Really excited about some of those and really like ooh, angsty about others. So it is what it is. I have four left, I think. It feels like four. All right, second print of the second issue. And I remember picking this one up in the store off the LCS shelf and being disappointed because I didn't realize I picked up a second print. And then that was before second, third prints were a thing and people were not as in, into them. And I feel like this series started that turnaround. People started seeking those alternate covers. Those, this is a cover made, I think, just for, for this issue. It's not an interior artwork, uh, I don't believe, but we'll see. So what did I get? Nine eight, yes, we're back. We're back, baby. Got Erica Slaughter slaughtering that monster. Big letters, nine eight. We got the red on the back. Second print of the second issue. Cool colors too, just really cool. If I had a wall to hang up slabs, these a lot of these would probably be on that wall. But then I'd probably get like people looking at me weird, like, what is killing the children? Why do you have this on your wall? Same issue, same story, I'm not going to repeat myself, and a 9-8. Why couldn't that happen with issue number one? But second print, you know, these are, this also does fetch a little bit of dough. Two more. Thanks for bearing with me. Not something is killing the children, but yeah, something is killing the children. Carnage. This is from my buddy's collection, so I threw it in there because I forgot to put it in the last haul. Not 9-8, but I think it should be a 9-something, so let's see. 9-2, Okay. Not bad. Cool book to have these days. Everyone's talking about Carnage. Everyone just thinks it's an awesome book. I love this book. This is one of the first Spider-Man books I picked up as a kid. Not this particular one. This is my buddy's issue. But uh, this issue itself, I was like, what the heck is going on? There's all this violence. As a kid, I was like, ooh, this is pretty cool. So just a cool Mark Bagley cover. Spider-Man all contorted. Last but not least, I cannot... Oh, 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 did I just show it? I don't know. What was that grade? This is another issue number one. I didn't realize I had so many. Pleasant surprise. It's like Christmas when you didn't realize you had so many uh, of, of, uh, of something. You, and it's been a long time since these books have been in my possession. So I've had a 9.8. I've had a 9.6. And I've had a 9.4, I think it was. What is this? 9.6. Okay. Okay, it could have been lower. <laughs> I'll take a 9.8 or 9.6 as opposed to a 9.4. Um, let's see what the problem was. I'm not sure. Not quite sure what the problem is, to be quite honest. But these hard covers, when they're um, you know, card stock, uh, you never know. They're unforgivable. So something is killing the children, number one. Good one to go out on. So as I do with most of my CGC hauls, I'm going to look through and figure out what is my favorite book in this haul. So... Let me see what that is. I have three favorites. I couldn't pick just one. So after much deliberation, I definitely, this is a given. This is a money book. 9-8, issue number one. That's my first favorite. My second favorite is issue number six, the Frizen Unlocked variant. Her looking badass, killing monsters with a chainsaw. I got the blood on it. Love this book. And... The third one, one of my favorite covers, is this Comics and Oddities variant, store variant for issue number one, the Frizzing cover with the colored in blood. So morbid, yes. Awesome, yes. 
So that's my haul. Something is killing the children for sure with these books. Something is killing my pocket uh, in terms of my wallet. And uh, yeah, so I got a mess to clean up. I got slobs to figure out where the heck to put these. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you have any of these books. Uh, let me know what kind of grades you have. If you've been fortunate enough to get higher grades, that'd be awesome. I, I, I wish you all the best. I have more Something is Killing Ch Children books to send to CGC. So that's going to come. But that haul will not be filmed anytime soon because CGC is so delayed. But I appreciate you along for this journey. Again, if you're new to my channels, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Get notified every time I post a video so you stay up to date on what I'm collecting, my CGC unboxings, Comic-Con hauls, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.